Alright. Hello. Today I will be playing Hello, Hello It, the first episode. Uh, I was very interested in this game like a couple years back, but I've never really gotten to play it. I've seen other people play it, but I mostly have forgotten. So uh, let's see how it goes. I am ready for the depression. My world met its end a long time ago. The humanity as I knew it has ceased to exist and disappeared without a single trace. The gods they believed in had, have died and churches were built as their graves. The chaos turned to, into order and it finally became quiet. All I can do now is dream, for I am so, so tired. Before I abandon the words that form noise in my head, will you be so kind as to join me in dream scene? Hello Charlotte, episode one, junk food, gods, and teddy bears. Hello Charlotte, it's nice to meet you. Please take care of me. This is my room. All right, so we're already thrown into the choices. I know we're playing as a, a completely uh, separate character that isn't Charlotte. But other than that, it's been way too long since I've seen anything related to this game. It's rather minimalistic. Quite modern, don't you think? Let's go to the dining room. I'm hungry. Can I just, uh, nope. Got to use the arrow keys. Let's see. Rewind. Okay. And then you press B. Okay. Current user has restricted access to the teleport on the queue. Okay. Charlotte, okay. Okay. Oh man, these controls are a bit slidey. Band-aids, scalpels, notes, tea bags, everything is such a mess. And clean your room, woman. User log might be useful. Look out for puppeteer symbols. Only users with X in their names have access to all doors. Okay. Dear Charlotte, I'll be home late. Call that number to order food from Charlie's from mom. Okay. This note is eight months old. My parents work on holidays. New task received. Order food. Okay. Tableware. The house. Okay. Puppet control menu has four options. Stuff, task, rewipe points, exit. Junk is stuff we throw away. Stuff is junk we keep. Tasks are daily life quests. Rewind points contain saved data of previous events. NB should only be used if puppet dies or if puppeteer must leave the control council console. Exit should not be an option for a reasonable puppeteer. Okay. So The last time I tried to cook something, the world was almost destroyed by the food monster. I wish Bennett didn't put his chemicals on the shelves along with the sugar and salt. Mm, it, as it were. Big old TV. Watch the TV. Yeah. Aww. Am I buying things now? I can't agree with that. It wasn't locked yesterday. Okay. Access denied. Anarchist cookbook. Advanced chemistry. These are bent shelves. They just scream danger and geek. Okay. What's up? Hey, it's Charlie's Organic Chuck Sweets. Please place your order. Um, I'd like to order eco-friendly chicken nuggets and an insta diabetes soda, please. I shouldn't be so nervous when I'm talking to a machine. Thank you for ordering at, ordering at Charlie's. Stay healthy as well. Oh, they're here already. Shut up. Danger. 
Ivan's bookshelf. I'm actually a speed reader, so I should probably slow down. The shelves are full of literature and alien language. I can't read the titles. The Nerd War, My Fair Salary Man, Astronaut Commander. Okay. Note obtained. Ooh, did I find the password? The Golden Apples of the Sun. Physics of the Impossible. One Hitman. My Humble Bookshelf. One Hitman. The puppeteers, this guy, no, no type of stuff, will live, live in true realm, purpose, control, and direct the science of humans, the science of humans only, probably, can retire, re okay. World government members wear animals, full masks, known representatives, umbrella. The puppets, also known as humans, live in false realm, purpose to ERR, -er. unknown representatives, me, mom, dad, classmates, not sure. Aliens, okay, Hux Huxley. Pretend to be human to cause less ruckus, live in false realm, known representatives, uh, Huxley, Bennett, Iden, politicians, okay. Alright, how do I... The mouse board is clean. Oh. I'm down. This is why you check your buttons. Okay. Let's uh, do a separate file just in case, because I know those are important in these games. Nothing in this case. Okay. A strange hissing noise is coming from behind the door. Want me to open it? I'm not sure. Charlie opens the door. There's a giant cockroach behind it. Charlie's healthy junk food delivery. Please sign here. Okie dokie. Gotta make my signature beautiful. Charlotte draws a large X on the paper. Nailed it. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. The delivery man hisses politely and leaves. Right. A lucky one. Okay. New task. Feed Charlotte. So. Okay. And, uh. The. What a mockery of real food. Is it all they can offer these days? They should tr try wallpapers, dear child. They are especially rich in iron. Don't listen to him. Soap is much better in nutrition. Um, guys, do I get a say in this? Aliens don't really have a concept of personal space, do they? By the way, Mr. Iden, the door to the ground floor corridor, corridor doesn't open. It's closed for minor construction works. Nothing to worry about. If you come out at night, you might find something interesting there. Iden, Iden pinches Bennett. Ow. Stop giving the child weird ideas. Don't listen to him, dear girl. If you want to join in, I'll be watching Soap Net in the TV room. Soap operas just call for soap milkshakes. Bennett leaves. I always forgot. Come to the dissection room later. I have a favor to ask of you. I didn't in Huxley too. Okay. Huh. Okay. That's a Let's talk to Lizzie. Did I just go through the couch? Ben is absorbed in watching TV. Okay. Alright. If you are free to make that statement, then it is correct. You may pass. We're gonna try. Okay. The first floor. Okay. For the first floor. Uh, guess not. Yes. Why am I losing hearts?
four. Save again. That's probably nothing to worry about, so let's see. Open me. We'll look at it in a second. Sewing tools. Fabric. Okay, let's uh into a singularity. Sudden and destroyed the world in less than a second. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. being a busybody as always? Hello, dear girl. There's a dress I want you to try on if you don't mind. I'd love to. I put on the dress the tailor made. Oh, it's cute. I like this art style. I, I, I like it a lot. I also like monochrome colors and like these type of games. Or like darker ones. Because I just feel like it fits the mood very well for these games. Because like, I feel like some of the scariest games are the RPG Maker ones. Like, not the gory, like, realistic ones. They're creepy, but that's because the gore factor and less of the fear factor. This is... These games cause psychological dread. Whoa, it's totally rad. It's called White Spotted Jellyfish Dress. It still needs a few finishing touches. I'll give it to you when it's ready. Shoot. Another post that dress. A simple black and white dress. Nice. Alright, we're going to try going through here. Dissection room. Let's just keep doing files. Huxley is busy dissecting a corpse. Presumably it was human once. Hi, doc Dr. Huxley. Hello, little Charlotte. About the little talk we had earlier. Can you do me a favor of looking after my lovely ne nephew for a couple of days? I've been so busy working on the cure for eye plague that I can't keep an eye on him at all. For all I know, now he could be collecting rare specimens in broad da daylight right now. He's too passionate for his own good. Aren't you too passionate for your own good yourself? The main reason why I am worried about him, however, is that he has no sense of direction, you see. He may have a bad attitude, but don't let that, that get to you. Okay, I'll help. Felix, come here. Ugh, I don't need anybody to look after me, Uncle Huxley. Right, right. Now go play with your new big sister. Uncle has science to do. I like how he <laughs> emphasizes science. There he goes again. It's nice to meet you, Felix. I'm Charlotte. Hi, if you want to make it through the day, don't you dare invade my personal space. Whoa, I can almost feel his glare burning into my skin. This is going to be going to be a long day. New locations in the dissection room are available. New task received. Kill time. Okay. Wait here. Access granted. Okay. So this is where Bennett's crew works. Pretty much, stuff usually blows up in here, so it has restricted access. Uh, these little portraits are cute. Uh, bad idea, but let's do it anyway. Oh, I should be pay I should be reading. This. Shh, they're watching. Hmm. I've always considered a possibility of being watched. It is pretty pl plausible if we take into account all the conspiracy theories. Log the Umbrella Man, but sounds like an SCP. He appeared out of nowhere when I was a child, whether I was in kindergarten or in the library with mom or alone in my room. He was always there, watching me with his yellow eyes from the darkest corner of the room, not uttering a single word. When I tried to tell mother about him, he lifted a finger to his lips as if not wanting me to speak, so I didn't. 
In my book of truth, I called him the observer. As soon as I defined him, the man spoke for the first time. These are so cute. Well, not really, but like, I like the art style. Oh, that name is not bad, I must say, he remarked. However, wouldn't anyone who watches over you become an observer? I had to agree. Hmm. Then I'll call you the Umbrella Man. Slightly taken aback, the man coughed. Ahem. Although I would have preferred a more euphonic? Euphonic name? Let it stay this way. Since then, since then, I gave every new person I met in the house a distinctive name. User log, Umbrella Man 2. When Mom asked who I was talking to, I didn't tell her about, about the Umbrella Man. Instead, I told a lie. User log, my birthday. On the day of my 10th birth birthday, the doorbell rang in the middle of the night. A masked man wearing a top hat and a black suit was standing behind the door. Hello, little Charlotte, he, he said with a, with a smile of a man who offers children candies. Mother told me not to talk to strangers, I answered in a determined voice. Oh man, I'm feeling a little stuttery. Uh-oh. He let out a sigh. I am no stranger to you. Human memory is so e ephemeral, isn't it? E even if I do know you, you must be a bad guy, I, insi I insisted. Me? Bad? Why so? I had to come up with something. That's because all villains wear top hats. Oh, is that so? What a silly prejudice, the man commented with a small laugh. Don't let this appearance fool you. With those words, he took off the mask. As I thought, the man was none other than the Umbrella Man himself. Although I'd love to have a chat with you on your significant day of the year, I came for another reason. I tilted my head, curious. Listen closely, little one. I came to inform you that a puppeteer has been assigned to you since you reached the age of ten. Who's that? They are a rep representative of the crew realm, designed specifically to watch over your troublesome species. The one assigned to you is a Seth type puppeteer. As for their purpose, they are here to guide you, the puppets, throughout your short lives. Why would they do that? You see, little one, free will is fiction. Mm -hmm. I chewed on my words, trying to come up with a smart reply. Ah, this choice of words must be too difficult for a child. Let me put it another way. Meet your new friend who will watch over you. Their name is Seth. Don't bully them too much, okay? Oh. What's this, Squishy? A specimen for research in Oregon supply. Look, but do not touch. Okay. That's nasty. Move aside. The door scans the boy's eyes. Access granted. I what's in here. Ooh, a note. One door out of three leads to death. Spooky. The way. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Monty Hall room. Open the door and die. Survive and get a prize. Wow, is this for real? Want to check? What's up? We're in outer space. Satisfied? Yep. Man, this game is trippy. That's something nice. Take it. A 
obtained Helix ne Nebula ownership. Wow. I hear Pi proclaim myself the Empress of the Helix Nebula. How does that sound? Utterly cheesy. As it should. Okay. Let's see. Bennett looks sad. Hi, Bennett. Are you dead or something? After 1037 episodes and 10 specials, they finally confess, confess their undying love to each other. Underneath my protective suit, I'm dying from complicated feelings. Let's leave him until he's ready to return to the harsh rea to the harsh reality, shall we? Okay. That's it. Well, Big Sis is going to sleep. How about you? I do not require sleep. I'll grab a bottle of soap and measure brainwaves while you sleep, stupid human. Sounds like a plan. I suppose I don't have to accompany you to the bathroom? No way in hell. Go to sleep already. Good night! Okay. Screens. So screens store data and monitor user activity. Screens must not be turned off. Current user Charlotte is expected to follow the absolute rules implicitly. We are not responsible for a bodily injury, including okay. Uh I already did ten minutes, didn't I? I believe I did. Alright. Well, I'm off to bed. Good night. Good night, Seth. Something sl slimy crawls into the room. Oh, it's just my maggot cat. One day my cat turned into a maggot. Or was he a maggot all along? That turned into a cat. Wow. The mag cat st stayed as it makes itself comfortable on my bed. Good, good cat. This is a maggot, though. Charlotte's so cute. Charlotte pets the mad cat. It purrs. Charlotte falls asleep peacefully. And then she's dead. That's loud. What was that sound? Felix promised to come back soon, too. Did he get lost in the house? How about we go look for him? A flamethrower would, would be more efficient, don't you think? Okay. Let's see, we're going to be looking for him. He's not there. Bennett is snoring in his sleep. glass is missing. Go in. Yes. Felix couldn't have gone here, could he? Right. This is where we're gonna start getting trippy. What is this place? I don't remember our house having a direct passage to a princess castle. It's too dark to see anything. Six lantern? Yes. Okay. You will find what you need upstairs. Okay. Yes. Okay, this is classic RPG Maker shenanigans. Let's uh be careful. Bad end, shot to death. Okay. Go again. Okay. 
Just a yellow teddy bear, nothing scary at all. Are you sure? Rain, rain, go away, little teddy wants to play. Human taxidermy, going wild. Okay. Oh, there's another door here. It's raining, it's pouring, the old bear is growling. Okay. I wonder why they're bear supposed to be. Yeah, I'm about to get murdered. Yes. girl's eyes well up with tears at the sight of Charlotte. Um, I'm very sorry, can you help me somehow? Are you lost? Aren't you lost yourself, big sister? Oh, that's creepy. Leave, Freya did you talk to strangers. I am just so creepy that I'm lost. Okay, let's try this way. Oops. Lovely heart. Uh, the bear factory. The girl's eyes light up at the sight of the rabbit toy. Wants me to give it to you? I can have it? Sure, here you go. Thank you. Your eyes look like egg whites. I'll take that as a compliment, I guess. I'm looking for a little boy. He must have lost his, his way in this place, too. Have you seen him by any chance? No, there's no one but Freya. I see, you must be very lonely. <laughs> Freya is fine on her own anyway. Get lost already if you're not going to stay. For an unlocking okay. Not going to end. Okay. Not going to antagonize the creepy eyes of the child. The cat room. 
the bear of the two shall pass. Uh, they probably ought to take a break. The bear. Uh, let's do the cat. Hi, Katie. Don't drink from the right cup. Don't drink from the left cup. Enter the right fireplace. Cats do not tell lies. Okay. Do not drink from the right cup. Okay. We're facing opposite directions. So drink this one. Look at a mirror. No, it's not. The bear of the witch is open. Winnie the Pooh. Each half 
porch full of chair and bed. They were honestly made sure trust and there. One day a girl came into the house. She could not be a good, honest little girl. For first she peeped in the keyhole and said nobody in the house, she lifted the latch. Okay. So we are doing uh three bears basically. Sit on the chair. Grab stuff there. Have a silver key. So it's basically trial and error. No, just go down. This day can't get any worse, right? Oh, so by torturing, they didn't mean that it's torture too. This room doesn't look any different from, from the other stuff. Okay. Look around here. Okay. Lots of saving. Oh, this is trippy. Wow, Eric? What's wrong, Seth? I'm having problems with programming. Does that mean I can do what I want? No, I simply can't access the radio. Oh, well that's too bad. Uh, that's not good. Is that just kidding? Logic error. Felix? You? Ow, 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 what are you doing, stupid? Your punishment for running off. I thought I'd never find you. Felix growl. You shouldn't have followed me. Small talk aside, how'd you get here? Uh, I uh, got lost in your house. There's no way I'm buying that. Anyway, how? We need a plan. I'm not going to sit around and wait until the bears use us for crappy taxidermy. Tax the bears? What are you talking about? Weren't you, captur weren't, weren't you captured by them too? Excuse me? I just got here and I have no clue what you're talking about. Anyhow, you really needn't need have followed. Do you even have any weapons on you at all? Only blood stuff is against the violence. Please excuse me while I slam my, head, my hand against my forehead. Good thing we met up before you could get into more trouble. Fine, fine. I get it. Sorry for being a burden. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Still, what are you really doing here? Well, there's a high probability of an oracle who has, has taken physical form appearing in this dimension. Such an occurrence happens once in several millenniums. An oracle? Oh, excuse me. An oracle? What's that? For you, they are equal to God. In short, they are entities capable of creating small universes. I won't go into details for now, it is not like your puny brain would comprehend it at all. They sound like fun. 
Me. 